Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. Again, today I will make some video toys about the H32BS controller because it's very powerful. Now I will begin to make some videos explaining the details so that maybe some functions you can use for your project. Okay, this is the first video. I will show you the hardware details. Okay, let's begin. You can see this is our H32BS. Uh, this is the box and the opposite and the in front now i will open the box i just uh, first uh, remove the antenna this is a wi-fi antenna i will open this box i will show you what is inside and the sound our design idea And also this box use the metal metal material. And this is open the box. And also we can remove the Wi-Fi antenna. And we remove this screw for the PCB board. And the third and the final screw. Okay, now we can begin. Take out the PCB board. Okay, we can see this is the board. This is a PCB board, you can see. This is our PCB board. You can see this board without any relay. You can see this is H16 channel relay board. Uh, there is really the black one. And now we use this MOSFET instead of this one. Because we have designed the relay you can use outside the box and you can use this relay module outside the box. You can see we have used this Omron relay. This is removable, uh, easy for you to use and repair. Just use this one. So you can install outside the box. And also you can use this contact. This contact is used by DC and uh, not by AC. So you can see uh, this is voltage. Uh, this voltage print is uh, 24, but also can use by 12 volt DC. This means just uh, the max works what voltage is 24 voltage. The coin, the max voltage is 24, but now we use by 12 voltage. It's also no problem. Uh, the range uh, is big, so from 12 to 24 all can work by this DC contact. So you can put your relay or contact outside the box. Uh, you can use channel 1 to channel 8 like this relay. And uh, the channel 9 relay and uh, the channel 10 is contact. Also you can let your contact is channel 1 and relay is ch be begin channel 2. This is consistent by yourself. Okay, this is uh, different between Old words, so this is used really outside the design. And also, we can see this is a CPU, uh, the CPU chip, central processor unit, and this is optical parts, so that can protect these input points and also can extend so that the input point, the line between the switch and the board, will be very long. Uh, I think. Uh, one kilometer is no problem. And also you can see uh, this is the Ethernet chip uh, for the Ethernet, and this is a Wi-Fi chip, and this is IS232 chip uh, for this point, and this is IS485 uh, for this point uh, for Modbus. 
and this is the output, and this is MOSFET, and also this is optical, and uh, this is the power circuit, and this is the wireless receive module. Also, you can see the back of the PCB board. Uh, this is for input, and this also for output. Uh, so there are many paths on the PCB board. OK, let's look at the interface. We, we will how to use it. Before you use this H32BS controller, you need to prepare the power by yourself, uh, because this is for the power pin. Uh, this is 12 volt. And uh, this is ground. This volt power for this whole board. And uh, you can see uh, this is a 32 output. And this pin is V in. And this pin is V in. That means use your self power V in and uh, V in. So you can let this V in connect with this uh, 12 volt. Uh, so that the output will be 12 watts. So this being if you input is 12 DC and the output is DC 12 watts. And uh, we suggest you the power load, the max is 500 milliampere. This is the max for every output. But if you use only one output, uh, this rest is free and uh, not to use any load. So this power load, the ampere, can be max at 2 ampere. But we suggest you use this one and uh, not, uh, not use too large for this one, because I think the rest of the channel you must need to use. Because we have designed this uh, MOSFET is 10 ampere. This we have designed 10 ampere is enough. But for the safety, we suggest let you use max uh, 500 milliampere uh, is, is safety. So this is full channel of D in. This D in is for this eight channel load. Uh, this V in is for this channel, and this V in is for this this eight channel, and this V in is for this eight channel. This four V in channel is designed independently, so that uh, you can use different voltage. Uh, if you use carefully, you can use this is for 12 watt uh, load, and maybe you have you let this V in use 24 DC, so that output is DC 24. Maybe you have used this 24 DC contact or 24 volt relay, so you can use this work at the same time. Uh, this is 24, this is 12 volts. Uh, so this is have uh, extended power. Power 1, and this is power 2. This is power 2. But be careful, the most important is U power 1 and U power 4 all need to connect to the ground. If you use power 1 supply and power 2 supply, just the two power supply, at the same time, the most important is you need to connect the ground together uh, with this ground. So this is very important and a safety program. And uh, be careful not use the output 24 volt for 12 volt relay. Uh, 24 volt must connect with the 24 voltage relay. And uh, this is 12, and uh, this is 24. So this is just I tell you need to be careful. And uh, this is IS485 A and B, and this this is IS232. Okay, now let's look at the this side of the interface. Uh, this is just the Ethernet part. It's easy. And uh, this is uh, for the switch panel because this switch panel not need. Uh, uh, use the switch terminal board. You can use the switch button connect with this hole directly. 
You can see this is channel one, just the switch button one, button two, button three, and the button 16. And this is button 17, button 18, button 19, to button 32. So if you use a switch, you just use self-reset switch or momentary switch. You just uh, the one side is connected with the ground, and the switch uh, just like this. When I press the button, just like the shot uh, for this line, this this lamp, this output one will be output twelve volt. Just the way it means on, and uh, we can remove and uh, shut again. Uh, the output will be off. So we can control a lamp. Just we can shut the on and shut again for off and shut on and shut again for off. So this is very easy for dry contact uh, switch panel to use. Uh, if you use the channel 2, just like this, also like this, uh, turn on light ch channel 2 and turn off channel 2. Just every time when you shut again, the state will be changed. OK, this is the 32 channel output. And this is the blue one, is digital input. This is for sensor to use, not for your switch channel to use. Like also use this dry contact. Uh, you can use any block of the pin. Uh, just uh, uh, you can see uh, the channel one, uh, digital input channel one, like this, at least uh, two seconds, then the message will set to your mobile phone. You can triangle the in input sensor for output, make things. Or trackle the message we we'll send to your mobile phone for alarm message. This is six channel for you to use. You can trackle the output and trackle for send alarm message to your mobile phone. And also you can see the orange. This is all off. This is all on. If I shut for this hole, all this output will be off. If I shut for this, all this output will be on. If you shut for this. Oh, this output is off, and you shut again, the output is off. Also, will not change. Just this always for off, and this always for all on. Will not change the state. Every time, as you before, in any state, just shut for this will be off, and shut be this will be all on. So this is for all on and all off. So, the black one is the ground. This ground is for the uh, switch panel use, just means the key count, and also used by the O on off, the key count, and the digital input sensor, the ground, are uh, connected with this together. Also, this ground uh, is as this ground. Uh, you can use the power supply. Uh, if you use one power supply or two power supply, let the ground all have connect with the black. The black is connected with uh, uh, this point uh, on the PCB board. So if you have four power supply, just one, two, three, four power supply, all these power supply need to connect with the ground uh, to this black socket. OK, this is how to use the socket. And also we can see there is two wireless remote module. Uh, this is for 17 to 32 channel, and this is for 1 to 16 channel. You can see uh, this is a black, the white button, just this button. This button is used for pair with this remote. You need to run these two remote. Uh, just press the button, pair with this one, and press this button, and pair with this one. So the total have 32 channel used by two remotes and the prayer with different wireless module. Because these two, these two remotes, uh, uh, you can see the appearance is seen, but it have different address. Uh, the address, you can open the box, you can set the address. The remote can set the max at 225 address. So I think it's enough to use. So this is for pair with the different remote for the wireless module. So I think uh, this is the details of the output and the input and the wireless and the network and the Wi-Fi and the S232 and the S485 interface. 
And because we have designed the Wi-Fi module and the Ethernet module uh, connect with the CPU, so you can use the book, uh, you can use the board uh, connect with the internet with the card server and work in local network at the same time because these two modules is work at the same time, not for switch, not uh, one time only used for one module. These two modules always is work with the MCU, uh, so this can work without internet and work with internet at the same time. So this is the hardware of the H32PS. I think uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. We will feed feedback to you quickly. And in next video, I will show you how to begin use the network config and the software config for this S32PS. Okay, thanks for watching.